When in disgrace with fortune in men's eyes, I, all alone, beweep my outcast state, and trouble deaf heaven with my bootless cries. Mark. Yes, Mr. Greco? <coughs> Grego. Uh, sorry. Yes? Speak the speech, I pray you. And don't mouth it, as so many of your players do. I have no idea what you're talking about. Perhaps a demonstration by Jay would serve. Thank you, Mr. Grego. No, call me Peter. Thank you, Peter. And you must call me Jay. Of course. If you would. When in disgrace with fortune and men's eyes, I, all alone, beweep my outcast state and trouble deaf heaven with my bootless cries. Thank you, Jay. No, thank you, Mr. Grego. Peter, thank you. No, thank you. I, I think I get it. Enunciate. That's all I'm asking. I thought I was pronunciating. Perhaps this will help. Hmm. Speak with distinction by Edith Warman Skinner. Round and round the rugged rock the ragged rascal ran. Round and round the rugged rock the ragged rascal ran. Tom met Tilly for tea on the train to Trenton. Tom met Tilly for tea on the train to Trenton. Tom met Tilly for tea on the train to Trenton. He thrusts his fists against the posts and still insists he sees the ghosts. Pa pa pa, ba ba ba, ta ta ta, ka ka ka, ka ka ga. When in disgrace with fortune in men's eyes, I all alone beweep my outcast state, and trouble deaf heaven with my bootless cries, and look upon myself and curse my fate, wishing me like to one more rich in hope, featured like him, like him with friends possessed, desiring this man's art and that man's scope, with what I most enjoy, content at least. Yet, in these thoughts myself almost despising, haply I think on thee, and then my state, like to the lark at break of day arising from southern earth, sings hymns at heaven's gate, for thy sweet love remembered such wealth brings that then I scorn to change my state with kings. Is that better, Mr. Gregor? Please, call me Peter. <laughs>